Golf courses everywhere face the risk of drought and the problems that can come with extended periods of dry weather. Whether the courses in your area experience drought frequently or almost never, it's important to remember that rainfall patterns and water availability can change quickly. Lengthy droughts and even relatively short periods of extremely dry weather can have serious and lasting consequences for a golf course, including damage to playing surfaces and lost revenue. Water shortages can also lead to rising water costs and future restrictions. Our water comes from reservoirs that are just over my shoulder, and um, a large part of that water is from rain. And in the last couple of years, we've seen a reduction in our average rain total. This year, we had 36% uh, of our average. That's limited us uh, to 40% reduction on the golf course for our irrigation. We've reduced our irrigation on fairways, and we're predominantly putting our water on greens, tees, and um, approaches, allowing the fairways and roughs to go dormant. All golf courses should be planning for water shortages and thinking about ways to conserve. Developing a drought emergency plan is a good place to start. Knowing where to focus limited water and where to conserve it is critical when a drought hits. The water source a golf course relies on also has a big impact on drought readiness. If the water supply is increasingly expensive or unpredictable, it may be time to think about other options, like expanding rainfall capture or using recycled water if it's available. The grasses a course uses can also have a big impact on how much water is needed. We're currently converting 55 acres of ryegrass fairways to, to Santa Ana hybrid Bermuda. Hybrid Bermuda, it's a security blanket in a year where we do have water shortages. This grass definitely, I mean, we've seen we can take it down to about 60% water savings when compared to ryegrass and, and not have the conditions change. Uh, and if we got into a zero water condition, we know the grass will go dormant, but we'll maintain density. Compared to ryegrass, where you turn the water off, you're going to completely lose your grass and have to reseed. Uh, the Bermuda is going to maintain its density, lose its color, go dormant, and then, and then you bring it back. Using drought-tolerant grasses in fairways and roughs can save significant amounts of water, energy, and money while improving playability and drought readiness. Back a few years ago, we were a mix of any number of cool season grasses on the golf course, and that coupled with the prolonged drought that we had just been through caused the club to want to move forward with a different plan. Warm season Bermuda grasses became part of the grassing plan here at Diablo Country Club with the first priority of reducing water, but then secondarily producing more consistent and uh, better playing conditions overall. Converting out of play turf areas to native vegetation or non-irrigated landscape are other ways for courses to reduce the amount of water they need while also saving maintenance time and money. One of the things that we did um, during our regrassing process was transition specific areas to true native grasses. We identified a number of areas throughout the property that could handle significantly reduced irrigation without an impact on playability. So with the threat of drought and water reduction always looming, we're now better prepared to absorb the impacts of that and be able to reduce water usage in a way that's acceptable for the golf course to be maintained. Water scarcity is something that all golf courses need to be concerned about. New technology, improved grasses, and careful planning can reduce the impacts of a drought and help golf courses make the best possible use of a scarce and essential resource.